Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. Chips are widely used in modern electronic devices and are often the core components. From mobile phones and computers to smart homes and medical equipment, chips are needed, and chips also play an important role in industry and military. It can be said that chips have become an indispensable existence of a country. The United States has great advantages in traditional silicon-based chips. As the birthplace of integrated circuits, the United States has mastered a large number of core patented technologies and advanced core patented technologies. Although the chip manufacturing industry in the United States has been transferred to Asia, the United States is still a well-deserved chip leader. This is why the United States modifies the chip rules. Although Japan, South Korea, the Netherlands and other countries are reluctant, they also need to abide by the relevant US bans. Judging from the current industrial distribution of chip globalization, chip manufacturing is in Asia, semiconductor equipment is in the Netherlands and Japan, and chip design is in the United States and Taiwan. Although the chip industry has become popular all over the world, the vast majority of chip companies in the world need to use American technology, even top companies in their respective fields, such as TSMC and ASML are no exception. Although China's chip technology has developed rapidly in recent years, and it is laying out the entire chip industry chain, and its dependence on American technology is not high, but the Chinese chip industry started late, and there's still a long way to go to catch up with the United States. Way to go! However, as traditional silicon-based chips gradually come to the end of technology, other chip tracks have gradually emerged, such as photonic chips and quantum chips. Chinese scientific researchers began to change lanes to catch up, and developed rapidly in the fields of quantum chips and photonic chips. According to the latest news, the Chinese chip manufacturer Benyuan Quantum has recently built the first quantum chip production line in China and has officially put it into production. Biden tried every means to prevent the development of China's chip industry, but he did not expect that China would change lanes and overtake, and now the trend of development can no longer be stopped. In this regard, some foreign media said, Biden's heart is broken. The difference between quantum chips and traditional chips Traditional silicon-based chips use classical binary to represent and process information, while quantum chips use qubits, that is, qubits, to represent and process information. Qubits can be in a superposition of zero and one at the same time, which allows quantum chips to perform certain computing tasks faster than traditional chips. Quantum chips are a hot research direction of quantum computers. They have great advantages in the fields of encryption, simulating complex systems, and optimization problems. Major breakthroughs have been made in these fields. Not only that, quantum chips can also be applied in many fields such as quantum computing, quantum communication, and quantum sensing. Wide application of quantum chips. At present, quantum chips are mainly used in the field of quantum computing. In this field, quantum chips have huge advantages that traditional chips cannot match. Judging from the current situation, Quantum chips far exceed traditional chips in terms of computing speed and processing power, and the performance of quantum computers in these fields also far exceeds that of traditional computers. 
The powerful computing capabilities of quantum chips enable them to play an important role in solving complex mathematical problems and have excellent performance in fields such as optimization, simulation, and cryptography. In addition to its outstanding performance in the field of quantum computing, quantum chips also have excellent performance in communication. Quantum chips can use the characteristics of quantum entanglement and quantum stealth to realize the safe transmission of information, and the information transmitted by quantum communication can also effectively prevent eavesdropping. In the field of measurement and detection, quantum chips can produce highly sensitive sensors, so as to achieve more accurate measurement of earthquakes, gravity and magnetism. Seismographs, gravity measuring instruments, magnetic needles, etc. manufactured through quantum chips have excellent performance. Far exceeding traditional equipment. Biden is probably going to be heartbroken. If it is said that in terms of traditional silicon-based chips, the United States can still use its first-mover advantage to restrict China, but in terms of quantum chips, the United States seems powerless. After all, in terms of quantum chips, China and the United States are on the same starting line. According to China's scientific research strength, even if the technological level in the field of quantum chips does not exceed that of the United States, it will not be left behind by the United States. They basically belong to the same echelon. How can the United States sanction China? Take the quantum chip production line of the original quantum as an example. In terms of software, the original quantum has Benyuan Kuanyuan, which is the first EDA software designed for quantum chips in China. In terms of hardware, the laser annealer and non-destructive probe station of the source quantum are also independently developed, and it can be said that there is no dependence on foreign technology. This also means that the quantum chip production line of Yuan Yuan Quantum is basically built by domestic technology and equipment, software and hardware. Without dependence on foreign technology, it is naturally impossible to be sanctioned by foreign technology. Biden estimated that his heart would be broken, and he tried every means to restrict the development of Chinese chips, but he did not expect that the restrictions on traditional silicon-based chips did not achieve any effective results, and the restrictions on quantum chips were even more impossible. Start With the development of quantum chips, their importance will only become more prominent, and Chinese manufacturers should seize.